All right. Hey, everyone. Happy Friday. Welcome back to the uh, Gabriel Knight 2 adventure. I'm sure you're wondering about my, my new look here. I'm wondering about my new look here. <laughs> uh, I think it actually looks better this way. If I wear a, I think I look a little more, a little more biker dude here. So I'll keep the hat on for a little while. Um, I f closed my play in, uh, at Marin Theater Company on Sunday, last Sunday. And then, uh, we were, my family came and visited and we did a blast. We went to all these cool places in the San Francisco area, went to see the Redwoods, went to Alcatraz, did all this really fun stuff. <clears throat> and my kids, I was going to shave this, this beard that I've been wearing for the, for the play. And they said, no, you gotta, you gotta, <laughs> they wanted me to do a, a biker mustache, sort of the, what is this called? The, uh, uh, oh, I forgot the name of it, but you know, um, and unfortunately, I don't, I don't really have a whole lot of growth here. Anyways, they made me shave it down to here. I actually had to put a little bit of that just for men in because it was so white. Um, so we'll see. I'm going to keep this for a little while. And uh, this, is, this is where it's going to be. Um, so welcome back to Gabriel Knight. I'll bring Daniel out in a couple of minutes, but I thought I'd just give you guys a couple of quick uh, updates. And I'm, I just got in last night, so I've, I'm just winging it right now. Um, uh, I'm, my show's over, which is awesome. It was a great time, and it frees me up to do more of this. Uh, now I only have two other jobs besides this to, uh, to attend to. So Daniel Albu has been incredible in terms of helping keep things going while I was uh, in, in the San Francisco area. So I can't thank him enough for, for everything. Um, and we're going to be adding a lot of new stuff. We're going to try to be maybe doing, adding a Wednesday uh, gameplay of me on Twitch. We're going to add some perks and some more fun things for our Patreon members. Um, I'm realizing that we just don't offer a lot of monthly perks for, for them to stay with us. So we're going to come up with some fun ideas there. Uh, we'll continue our playthrough with Phantas 1. I've got some interviews coming up on Sunday. We're going to do a live premiere, uh, YouTube premiere of uh, my interview with Drunken Master Paul, who was a uh, tech support guy at Sierra back in the day when uh, when we were doing Fantas 2. He had a small part in Fantas 2, and he has a very uh, robust following on YouTube of his own, and he's also connected with Metal Jesus Rocks. And we had a great talk, and he'll be joining me, and we'll just do a live uh, play of that on Sunday. And so I'll be in the chat with all you guys, and I hope you can join us. It'll be Sunday at 12 p.m. Pacific time. And then a couple weeks later, I had I had a chance to talk to David Fox, who um, was one of the first ever employees of Lucas uh, Arts Gaming, uh, responsible for tons and tons of games, Zach McCracken and other things <laughs> that, I, that I don't know. He was in the Indiana. He did the Indiana Jones uh, uh, game. And uh, we had a great talk, and so we'll be airing that on Sunday, May 15th. So, uh, and some other interviews coming up, and so lots of cool stuff. Um, all right, so before we dive into GK2, as always, I want to thank our Patreon members um, for making this possible. You guys are the reason we can keep doing what we're doing. I will say that we uh, lost one of our major donors. Uh, recently uh, and can't thank him enough for all his support along the way beyond what he did on on patreon he was helpful in other areas and so we're sorry to see him go but but thankful and um, and I do want to say that uh, that leaves a bit of a hole and if you were ever thinking about joining us on patreon now would be a great time the end of the month we always lose some people uh, so it would be great to uh, to get some some folks to help uh, make up for um, the most recent uh, big donor loss. So please think about it. We'd love to have you join us for as long as you can and, and keep uh, conversations with Curtis going. Uh, that said, we did get a couple new patrons this month, and I wanted to say welcome to them. Tom, uh, Jake, who actually the asterisk is he had been with us for a while, but he upped his donation. So thank you for that, Jake. And then Farmer Dan just joined us. So thanks all of you for being part of, of our family. Um, 
what else? I think that's, I think that's all I got for now. Uh, please follow us on all the social media. You'll see a bunch of the bots will keep reminding you to join us if you haven't already. So please uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel and follow us on the other stuff. And I guess that's it. I am going to stop yammering and I am going to bring out my partner in crime, Daniel Albu. Daniel, here you are. How are you doing today? Hi, Paul. And hi, everyone. Which? I have to say that I really like the new biker look. You like the new biker? Does, it, does, the, does the hat make the difference? Yeah. I think you can, can use it for one of two things. Either join a biker gang and start streaming full throttle, <laughs> or you join Gary Spinred's rock band. Yeah, I could be you the guy. Can go either way. Since I have zero, uh, since I don't know how to ride a motorcycle and I can't do anything musically, I think I'd have to join his band and just be the guy with the tambourine. That would probably be, I'd be in the background just. You look like the lead singer, James Hetfield from Metallica. So you can join a Metallica <laughs> cover band. There you go. All right. I got all kinds of new stuff going on. Uh, anyways, it's Daniel. It's great to see you. And thank you again. And I just want to acknowledge publicly all the work that you do for Conversations with Curtis and how much, you, what a joy it's been to work with you and how appreciative I am of your, uh, of your support, especially since I've been so busy the last few weeks. So thanks for everything. It's my pleasure. And it's great working with you as well. All right. Well, why don't we dive into this thing? Would you give us, it's been a few weeks and uh, few I weeks. have a short memory span. So please, please remind all of us where we are, what, what happened last. Okay. So previously on Conversations with Curtis, first of all, we completed chapter one with Gabriel joined the hunting club slash bachelor pad slash shoulder pad. We started chapter two where we gain control of Grace's character. And boy, what a character. <laughs> uh, Plot-wise, nothing too significant happened. We mainly visited places, but we did yell at a bunch of people. And so we yelled our way into the Schattenjäger library. Oh, right. Which is where we're currently at. That's right, yeah. So Grace is pretty grumpy. And poor Gerda uh, just, is, just is the perfect customer service person. She basically... Uh, just takes it and, uh, and and gives direction. And so Grace got into the library and then Gerda found her, right? And then Grace was grumpy towards her, but she's in the library now and we're going to look at books and stuff. Is that is that right? Kind of? Yeah. So get ready, everyone. There's going to be a lot of reading. Oh, yeah. Someone wrote that. Uh, Joseph wrote that in the comments. So lots of reading. Um, I have two Daniel, you won't be able to see this, but chat, if you don't mind, I have two options today. We have this version that shows everything, including all of our inventory. But I also have this version, which is more of the game itself. So um, I know that it might cut off the left of the screen, but let me know if you want to see this when we do the the movies or i'll try it for a while and if it sucks we'll try something else okay i guess we're gonna i don't know where, what do we have should we look at our inventory where do we even start first of all we picked up a few books which we started reading in the last chapter but we should read them more thoroughly because we skipped a, a few parts okay so we're just yeah talk me through this would be this guy and oh, this guy and the lycanthropy so you guys are gonna need let's to just that. Check our entire inventory and okay. go from there. All right, let's do that. So we're going to do that. Oh, I've already screwed up. What did I do wrong? Oh, People I have the book. People prefer right the first version of the overlay, which probably shows the <laughs> inventory. <laughs> what did I do? Did I exit? No. Okay. Well, how come I have this thing? I accidentally double clicked. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now, here we go. Now, no, the, the UI is annoying. It's um, in Phantasmagoria 2, you move the cursor to the bottom of the screen, and then you see your inventory. But here you have to click the inventory, even though there's enough space to show the inventory at all times. So uh, how what's that about? I don't know. Yeah. All right, so here we go. So we're going to have to read this stuff, right? All right. Yeah. En enjoy, everyone. <laughs> see you in an hour. <laughs> Numerous deaths at the hands of a marauding wolf being recorded in a neighboring county, I set out to see if I could determine the cause. There had been rumors of a werewolf, and the dark signs did indeed seem to be present. The deaths had all occurred within a 40-kilometer range of woods, and at the heart was the village of Alfeng. My assistant and I set a trap a short distance from the village. 
Though the beast had shown a propensity for human flesh, livestock had also been taken. Okay. Now we got to do Think the... of the other page. It was a newling lamb we loosed in the thicket as a lure. We awaited downwind. For two nights, the lamb bleated to no purpose, and once we had to fend off a hungry fox. But at last, the beast himself took the bait. I might have missed him. The night was so dark, and the wolf himself was black. But my assistant saw the light of his eyes, and I heard the lamb's cries turn fearful. He had the poor dumb lamb by the throat when we sprang. Okay. And there's another page probably, right? It was a newling lamb. Oh, ah, ah, sorry. Flip the page. All right. He was swift and might have escaped, but his fatal mistake was to attack rather than run. My dagger struck through his chest and into his right lung. As I had agreed, we bound the wolf and tied shut its jaws. We brought it home to Rittersburg, still breathing, wow. and turned it over to the magistrate. I pray for the man's unfortunate soul. May the law be swift and merciful. So they got the they got one. God be praised for aiding his servant. From his hand came the strength and wisdom to end the killing. Victor Ritter, Schottenegger, 20 April 1750. Okay, all right. So they they lured uh, they lured a werewolf, and then they killed it. And it's the black where it's it's right. And so I'm also <laughs> I'm reading the chat as I'm listening to all this, so I'm being a little <laughs> over. Yeah, this is you know we play the we play Grace reading the book. While we read the chat, we are doing a different kind of reading. <laughs> and no one's listening no to what, what Grace is talking about. Yeah. So it sounds like there was a werewolf in the 1750s. Let's move on to the next killed... book. All right, next book. Uh, all right. That's just his card. Right. Oh, here we go. We got it. Did we read this already? Fourth of March, yeah, we read this and we have the date. To King Ludwig II. Oh, so we got this. I have heard so we get that the one this. they call the Black Wolf is close to Should your I home. I'll switch to the next page and read that. Okay, there we go. I beg your highness only this. Please do not see this man alone, nor even with your servants only to guard you. I promise you, all will be made clear very shortly when my investigation is complete. For now, only keep yourself safe. Your most grateful servant, Christian von Ritter, Schloss Ritter, Rittersburg, Bavaria. Boy, that's a lot of Ritters. Okay. Um, it's like an email signature with all the links. Join my social <laughs> media. Join my Patreon. Um... Okay, there's that. So don't be alone with this guy. Uh, and a werewolf has been has been killed. And they're grateful. Well, what's, what's this? Lycanthropes, Charles. Oh boy, we're going to have to read this whole novel. So we, at least we're skipping to chapter three. Chapter three. All right, all right. Lycanthropy. Okay, we got that. This one we can scoot ahead. Oh boy. Really? All of this? Yeah, yeah, and there are several pages, so let's get cracking. How about I just, will anybody object? If no, just... you have to let her read it, because otherwise she won't know the, the contents of the book. There are two categories of werewolf cases, right. false or lycanthropic disorder cases, so and you actually genuine have to werewolf do this. cases, else, lycanthropic yeah. disorder. Lycanthropic disorder is a mental condition in I'd which say the this subject, is a flaw in the game. called a lycanthrope, believes we should be able to read he it or she is a werewolf. The subject Especially does not actually change shape, but is nevertheless capable of being as dangerous as an actual werewolf. Most cases of supposed werewolfry are really the work of lycanthropic disorder victims. Man to beast. In real werewolves, a physical change to wolf form does occur. The change can be voluntary, at will, Whoa. or can be forced by certain cycles of the moon and certain sounds. I never knew a howling. werewolf could do it on his own. That's new information to me. Did you know that? Well, now we know that. Well, but did you know that in, in the, all the lore and movies you've seen werewolves in the future that someone can just, just choose to be a werewolf? Werewolves are immune from aging and from most physical sun. diseases due to the constant regeneration of their physical tissue. Immune. They can therefore be virtually immortal. 
However, they can be killed by any wound that destroys the heart or the brain, or any form of death that causes brain or heart damage, such as hanging or other oxygen deprivation methods. The mind of a werewolf. Though primarily a true wolf while in wolf form, there is some proof that the werewolf retains enough knowledge to assist his killing, recognition of victims, evasion of traps, and human cunning have all been seen on werewolf cases. Okay. Becoming a werewolf. There are several ways to become a werewolf. They include being given the power of shape-shifting through sorcery, being cursed by someone whom you have wronged in some way, called the Lyconia Curse. I saw a being show bitten by a werewolf <laughs> and being in born San Francisco to a werewolf. Called in each case, Dear the blood San of the Francisco. subject becomes tainted or cursed. I think I, I get this. Damnation. A person who becomes and it was really a werewolf good. against kind of his like will, a, a small Cirque du Soleil with bite, is not completely damned until he tastes of human I blood. I would just share that with y'all. Once he does, his soul is eternally damned and nothing may redeem him. Even without tasting of human blood, however, as long as the taint lays upon the immortal soul, it cannot enter into heaven okay. and will remain chained to the mortal plane upon death. <laughs> Chapter four. Oh no, seriously? Really? You know, we you could... can click it and then uh, skip it, werewolf but packs. let's. Like All right, I'm going to skip through. Uh... Werewolves can live alone for I many click years, it. yet the in werewolf pack. Okay, I'm going to read this. Real, since I clicked it twice, they, they were good. Now that I've... If, if you click it and she starts reading it and then you click it again to skip, then we're good. Okay, so I've done that. So real werewolves can live alone for many years. Uh, they're revealing their nature to a priest or close associate. They can talk to them. This is the otherwise cagey werewolf opens himself to detection. Werewolf packs cause immune destruction. This werewolf is called the Alpha Werewolf, the one who's in charge. Remaining werewolves are back, called the Beta. Alpha carry the Alpha's tainted blood. Okay, Alpha and Beta werewolves. Relationship between Alpha and Beta was, was a complex one. Okay, so we're going to have two werewolves here. Once uh, a subject is bitten, his or her life and death are doomed to the werewolf curse. This victim does, I'm reading it now, the whole thing, <laughs> does, however, have some hope as long as they themselves do not taste. Can I click you to skip it? <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> Human blood. The curse is reversible. If the alpha werewolf is killed through some action of the beta, the beta's curse is broken. This is important, I think. It is important to have. It is important to note that whether the beta werewolf was bitten by the alpha werewolf himself or by another beta, it is the alpha who must be destroyed, the source of the original tainted blood. It is also an interesting to note that betas and alphas share the same common blood. Oh my God! So there's a lot of rules about how to kill the werewolf, and there's no way we're going to remember all this when it happens. At some point. Uh, our friend Grace will say, oh, I know what to do Alpha next. Alpha and beta right. werewolves. Right. It is important to note that... Flip the page. I'm... Oh, my gosh. Is there more? Oh, I think that's it. Okay. Symptoms of werewolfry. Oh, when mind. hunting for a werewolf, it is important. Uh, Therefore, look for symptoms in your human suspects oh, you that include ahead. increasing violence, increasing aggression. Symptoms of werewolf. Oh, Therefore... Therefore. Look for symptoms in your human suspects that include increasing, increasing violence, violence increasing, increasing aggression, aggression, unprovoked rages, insomnia. These are all symptoms that Grace has at the moment. <laughs> it's true. A good example of this comes from a <laughs> case true. reported by the ancient Jeez, priest of society, Manos del Sol of Brazil. A rash of werewolf killings there was tracked to a high-ranking officer in the army. All right. I think if we already... Manos del Sol, men of the sun? What? Okay, all right, we're done. We can be done now, right? This is over. All right, boy, that was rough. Yeah, this is just one more book. We have more things to read. Did you read the, the letter? Uh, uh, the, the notebook? Book. Do, I look in the Do notebook? we have... What's the second object there? The second? The second from the left. That's a... We've done this. That's the lycanthrope. We did that. No, this one. What, this one? That's a... No, the second from the left. This one? Second... You. From the left. From the left in the first row. That's just the... We did that already. Okay. Oh, no. What's going on? Exit. It was... We had this one. And we already looked at that. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's the letter from King Ludwig. Okay, so we can get out of that. Okay. So now we gotta get to the notebook, right? Okay. Did you read the the journal? Well, I don't know if we did. I don't remember. We have we have to play more often, otherwise I. Yeah, let's do it every week at Friday. My notebook. Notebook. Uh, My notebook. Me... Okay. Well, what? How do I open you up? Okay. Never mind. Nothing. Okay, to... Sit at the table. My notebook. Okay, it's your notebook. Um, what's this? Another letter. Okay. Gracie, something's come up. I'm on well, we did case. this one. We've had this for a while. Too right? bad you're yeah. not yeah, here yeah, to yeah. help. Okay. Greta can handle any. Re so I know I have a tell Grand. Go away. Exit. Uh, and then we have all this other stuff. So we're good for now. Yeah, you can go sit at the table. Go sit at the table. Okay. Uh, boom. All right, I'm gonna go sit at the table, and I'm gonna try my new fancy full game screen mode here. All right. Come on. There we go. All right, we got ourselves a game. I wonder if Christian Ritter's journal is here. I'll bet it is. She sounded kind of, I think she's happier when she's alone. You want her to be angry at herself? Christian Ritter, born 10 January 1820, ordained a Schottenjäger, died 4 March 1864. The 4th of March. That's the date on the letter. Same date as the letter, okay. Good. Now I need to see what else. I'm not is. sure what other case books would be relevant. Okay, we don't know about that. There's nothing else on werewolves in the occult section. Uh-huh. Oh. Looks like biographies here. I wonder if there's anything on Yes, Ludwig. Konig von Bayern. Konig Ludwig. Sein Leben und Sein Sieht, die letzten Tage des König Ludwig II. Hmm. German. That's not much help. German's not much help. Okay. Well, we have people who speak German here. <clears throat> Looks like biographies here. I, I think there's anything you just give that for yes, Ludwig, okay. yeah. Konig ah, von Bayern, Konig Ludwig. No, it's not a sit at the table. Okay. How do I skip? Just click it. Des... There we go. Uh, okay, back at the table. Yeah. I'm not sure what other case books would be relevant. Or click the type right here, the exit, yeah. Okay. Oh, now we're going to write a letter. Okay, good. If we haven't, yeah. you know, now that I... I feel like I have to put my hat there. Reading and writing. This is second grade stuff. All right, here we go. I'm not quite ready okay, to write the, the big hero yet. Okay, well, what are you going to write? Okay. Uh, I suppose in the that, next yeah. Blake Backlash book, good old Fujitsu will be replaced by Hildegard. Oh, she's got her attitude back. Who yeah. should I call? All right. Okay. Do you have a business card? Well, I'm just still looking around here. Hard at work night. Okay. Now I have a business card, you're saying. Oh, let me go back to my other screen so people can see everything. Uh, business cards here, right? And what do I do with it? Use it on the phone. On the phone, okay. Wow, look at that. This one. is the same puzzle as in Phantasmagoria 2, where you need to use Dr. Harbor's card. Right. Hello. Professor Barkley, this is Grace Nakamura. I'm calling from Germany. Germany? I thought you were in New Orleans. I was, but anyway, it's rather important or I wouldn't have bothered you. Do you know Does anything he, about we know King him? Ludwig II of Bavaria? Prior to this? <laughs> well, that's a hell of a thing to ask a man in the middle of the night. We have his business Late 1800s, card. right? Yes. Yale University. Uh, this isn't really my field, uh, but I, I think he was crazy. <laughs> Something. I wish I knew. Do you know anyone who specializes in German history? Yeah, I, I have a friend at the University of Berlin. Uh, I'll ring him. Uh, what's your number there? It's 4989-555-7878.
Okay, I'll, I'll call you back if I remember this conversation in the morning anyway. <laughs> Great. Sorry again. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Wow, wow, wow. This is, I gotta say. Uh, it, it's apparent that this game was written by an American because, you know, Grace gave her phone number and it has 555, which may be invalid in the US, but it exists in Germany. So this uh, is actually someone's number. Oh, gosh. Oh, that's Let's call him up. Um, so yeah, we're going to find out about Ludwig. So we don't know. This is just a call. No. Why do we have that? We, how, who gave us that card? Why do we have that card? Us. Huh? Because he specializes in this field. No, so I know, I know that. But, I know, but how do, why do we have the card? Who gave it to us? Do, where do we pick it up? The card wasn't just, had it. wasn't just in our I inventory. Had it. Yeah. So... I recall correctly. Yeah. You mean it was just it was just in our inventory? We just had it there? Yeah. T take a look at it. Yeah, let's take I a look. I think we had yeah, Yale University. We weren't anywhere. Right. Yeah. But okay, and so she did she know him? Are they friends? Are they colleagues? Yep. She used to go to Yale. Okay. So this is the first time we've what an interesting scene. Some just they decided to have a two minute scene of her calling a colleague just so we can find out that she's going to have to talk to another person in Berlin. So, well, it's better than reading. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you that. It is better than reading. All right, so got that uh anything I can I'm not quite I'm ready not to crying. write the big yeah. hero yet. So, is there anything else I need to do here? No. Nothing to do here. Okay. Off we go. Okay, so I made the phone call. Now I need to go. Probably got to get out of here. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now we're cooking. All right. So I know most of okay, you. With all the reading that we just did, which piece of inform, which important piece of information we now have that we can use to uh, further the plot. Well, first of all, I'm going to look at a bunch of stuff. No. Ritter ancestors, <laughs> I assume. Okay. Ritter and... All right. Uh, so we have something. <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't listening. I'm, I'm the worst. That's why I would never make a good gamer. Although I think I'd probably make a good gamer if I wasn't... If I was just playing by myself and not, not have the pressure of doing this live. Um... I don't know. Give me a hint. Well, we've got the date. And if you recall, back in town, someone asked us for the date so that he could look at the records to read about this case. Right. But then, do I need to go have her find someone? You need to talk to the person in town. But so I'm I'm her now. So I I can travel the way I traveled with. Uh, of course I can. I can travel the way I traveled with. Um, yeah, just just leave the yeah. the castle. Okay. Go back to town. Gotcha. Where we met the bunch of people. All right. I'll I'll get. Oh, well, let's go see poor Gerda. See if they maybe. Gerda. Let's yell at her. Gerda, I'm sorry. I don't have anything to say to her right now. No, 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 no. All right. Let's get out of here then. Right. By the way, if you recall, last uh, in in the last episode, we asked for the car keys. We asked. She her. told us we asked Gerda for the car keys, and she said that Gabriel doesn't uh, give her the car keys. So let's click the car. Gerda's been a real pig about those car keys. <laughs> a real pig. A real pig. Maybe wow. they're under the wheel well. Yeah, just being... All right. Um, so we have to walk Feminism into town. Feminism at its finest. So we got to go walk into town, I guess, huh? All right, let's do it. Where do we go? Oh, she had already run into somebody. Yeah, that's right. Now I'm remembering. Okay, wow, that's a good long walk. Okay, there was a guy over here, if I recall. It was like this funky little window. It seems like you this... forgot... 
the our last episode. I, I, I kind of have because I, I like have... you shaved your beard and forgot everything. <laughs> but no, I've been like this since the beginning. I, I have a if we played more regularly, I think I would probably remember more. But I <coughs> I got a lot on my hand, my, my I got a lot on my mind. I'm, I'm, I'm busy. I can't keep everything in place with dimension X and everything. Yeah. Is he gone now? It's locked. Yeah, it's locked. All right, I thought this was where that dude was. Wasn't there like he? No, a... it's the other green door. <laughs> There's another green door? <laughs> this one, the one on the left. Oh, okay. When you go into this view, okay, this one. then you see two green doors. Like this one. Fake, 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 fake knock. Hello again. Hello again. Did you need something else? Why, yes, I do. Boom. Dialogue tree. Remember that werewolf trial I'd asked you about? I have a date now. April 1750. Excellent. Let me go look. Uh huh. Now we're back. Now I'm starting to remember. Now I'm feeling. I'm playing this game with no hands. I heard of this and case earplugs. when I was a boy. Uh, but I always thought it was just a scary tale. Uh, it, I never thought to look in the archives. <laughs> well, there, who right. would ever look at the archives? Uh, what did you want to know? Well, I'll tell you as soon as my player clicks on it. Why did they bring the werewolf, the werewolf to Wittersburg? Why did they bring the wolf to Wittersburg? I know the Schattenjager lived here, but why didn't he just... Kill it where he found it? Yeah. I don't know. Let's see. I will look in the archives. Did I... Ah, yes. Uh, they wanted to know what man it was, uh, who it was. They brought it here so it would change back? Yes, exactly. Uh, back to a person. Uh. Do, uh, wait, someone just said to use the screwdriver on the old guy. I think you're probably kidding. Yeah. yeah. Um, he suggested to use the screwdriver on the car, use the stone oh. on the car. <laughs> <laughs> by, by the way, Tsuki said uh, uh, earlier that um, reading the books in Gabriel Knight 2 is more interesting than reading emails in Phantasmagoria 2. I think so I think you should take offense, Paul. You know, I, I have to give Suki credit on that one. I think uh, I think GK two wins in the reading department. Uh, some of the some of the emails, the goofy emails are fun, but yeah, now they both. I don't know. I, I will I allow that opinion. I don't know if I fully agree with it. I know you don't. Do you not agree? No, Daniel thinks. Uh, the writing and at least uh, you can reply at least you to can reply. Trevor's emails That's I can't reply to the book tell him it's too long <laughs> or all right well let's see if we can reply to his last question what happened to the alleged werewolf alleged she doesn't believe in it she's not she's not convinced he was interrogated for two days he confessed his guilt uh, the trial took place on the third day and he was uh, sentenced to death by quartering and the stake. Wow. Uh, quartering and the stake. He was given the a steak. final meal. He asked to see a confessor, and this was granted. Uh, he died at dawn the following day. They pulled off his limbs and burned him? <laughs> Don't think harshly of us, miss. That was a long time ago. <laughs> It's not his fault. <laughs> so, okay. I don't know if she's pissed at the fact that it's uh, brutal to do something like that, or that she didn't think of it first. Yeah, to do something like that to someone. Also, I always thought that werewolves didn't remember what happened when they were, and they knew that they turned into werewolves, but they had no memory of their werewolfery when they wake up naked in a ditch somewhere, and they're like wondering what happened sort of like the hulk a little bit that was my understanding it's like the plot for teen wolf <laughs> it's well the teen, yeah exactly where was the werewolf kept while it was here the dungeon there's a dungeon in the rat house basement we don't use it anymore of course happened for many years i bet you do 
I bet you do. We're going to use it at some point. The, mark my words, the dungeon's going to come back into this game. See, now, now I'm getting, I'm feeling I'm getting my game juice is flowing here. Did it change back? <laughs> Let me, I'll just keep that That's paper out. Don't says. keep putting it away. They put the She's going to have more sale, questions. And the next morning, I found a man in there. Okay. A laborer from out of town uh, identified him as Baron von Rallick uh, from Alfing. Baron von Rallick from Alfing. The stack of papers is, is too thin, given that it's such a significant case. Yeah, he's got it's it so all right details. there, too. It's just a, yeah. I think it's just two sheets. It's got everything on I it. I think he has the script for Gabriel Knight, too, and not the actual <laughs> case file. <laughs> I see. I know people that have done that. If you have, if you're playing it, if you have any sort of reading that you have to do and you have some sort of books or whatever, I've, I've seen people put their lines in there. Uh, why did they want to find out who the man was? Why did they want to find out who the werewolf was? Why I wouldn't guess? Uh, let me check my <laughs> check my notes. Yes, it says here that a group of villagers were Those sent the to same the pages. hometown once they learned its human identity. Why? <laughs> they thought there were more of them there. Uh, in those days, uh, the family of the identified werewolf would be in great danger. Many believed such curses were handed down through the bloodline. Oh, he, what was the last part? anything else? I suppose not. Unless, is there any way I could see the dungeon? Ooh. It would be my pleasure. Oh, nice. I thought he was going to say no. Here we go. Let's go to see the dungeon. It would be my pleasure, and then I will put you in it. And you will be mine. Let's go to the other green door. We didn't even have to click on it. Oh, let's I'm gonna have to show the other cool scene. Yeah. Everything's been kept the way it was when the dungeon yeah. was in use. We show it off to tourists sometimes. Ooh. Ooh. She's having a moment. She got that clear white thing? All right. Fine. She's having a 90s flashback. It's just that this place is so claustrophobic. I think we should tell you what. do back. Normally, this place is locked to keep out the village children. I'll leave it open. You can come and go as you please. <laughs> Would you? That's wait. Thank but what so about much. the village children? You are most welcome. Goodbye and good luck. Bye. Okay. A, we need to, there's definitely a bunch of scenes where Curtis has to deal with some emotional baggage from behind, from the days, and he's he's really struggling. I think we need to do side-by-side -side comparisons of Curtis and Grace emotionally dealing with their, whatever it is they're dealing with. That would be yeah, fun. Yeah, but at the end of every scene, Curtis is trying to, to keep his composure. Like he's, he's rubbing his eyes. And then he he calms Back himself down, but she is always angry, so it doesn't matter <laughs> she does, if she's she doesn't... getting agitated. She can remain <laughs> in that state for the rest of the game. Okay, so she walks into this room. First of all, they say he says, "Hey, I'll just keep this door open for you. You can come yeah. and go as you please." That's that's a boy. That's awful. Screw that's the villa children. That's all convenient. Um, and B, she walks in and she has this horrible connection to the room she said something about the light what is it that was bothered was it the light that was bothering her we were having too much fun making fun um yeah. so she said something about the light or something but she's clearly telekinetically connected to this room somehow do we know from the previous games that grace has this kind of mental telepathy connection to things or is this not exactly of... that but Let's keep playing. Let's keep playing. Okay, so we're here. We have access to this room. We can go whenever we want. But let's go this way. Ooh. You know, I was just at Alcatraz, and this looks a lot like... Uh, it's very similar to the cod in Alcatraz. Wait, did you shave before Alcatraz or afterwards? I shaved before Alcatraz. So yeah, they yeah, so I, you fit right in. I did. <laughs> Hello. I wonder if there are still Von Rolle 
Rolex slept well, here. Von Rolex. She also asked, like, surprising, like, why did you want to know who the werewolf was? Like, that was a... And he had to look at his notes. I mean, that seems like the first thing anybody would want to know. Of course. So Von Rolick is one of the people we read about earlier, right? Mm -hmm. And so which one was he? He was, he's the werewolf probably from back then. Um, she's going to tell me there's nothing more to see here. No, oh, maybe there's something. Not to do the same right? scene. And the bed is different if you take a look. Is From it? the non-interactive scene to the video. It's not the same bit. Von Rolex. You can skip here. it because we already saw it. All right. All right. But okay. if you take a look at the bed and now click the bed. Uh huh. Oh, I, I noticed that earlier. Yeah, I, I, I vaguely re realized that. Uh, what about? I don't, take that's a look it? at the window. No, take a look at the window. Okay. By the way, this is a much bigger cell than with, this is like a, a nice suite compared to uh, the Alcatraz. Like they're like six feet by nine feet. That's all they had. Ooh, I like the music. He asked to see a confessor. Ooh, there's a confessor up here because this is some sort of a tower. This oh. is the church. The church. Oh, a confessor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that, that kind of confessor. All right. Um, That's the church in the square. Okay, so I imagine we want to go there, huh? Yep. You, <laughs> but you want to... Did you see the way she walked away? She seemed really, it's like really annoyed, like, oh, God, now I got to go to a church. I'm going to stop ragging on poor Gracie. I like Grace. No, talk to the mayor again. Mayor again, really? The the, the oh. guy at the green window. Okay. Hello again. Did you need something else? Because if you did, I need to get my my pages to answer your questions. Oh, I have them here. Now you can go ahead and ask your question. I had a thought while I was in the dungeon. Yes. yes. You mentioned that Baron von Rolick was allowed a little flirty to give there. a last confession. I suppose the priest was from St. George's? I suppose it was. Look it up. Would there be a record of the last confession? It might I tell us more about the Baron's life. My... Hmm. hmm. Let me look at my pages. Dear young lady, those records are in German, though, hmm. and Father Goetz doesn't speak English. Do you think this would really help your shot, Diego? I'm not sure. It couldn't hurt. All right. I'll write you a note. You give it to Father Gates, and he'll see if I they have a record next. of the confession. If they do, you bring it back here to me, and I'll help you translate it, OK? That would be wonderful. Thank you so much. Certainly. This next door, you it seems like your schedule you is free. <laughs> Can you just come with us <laughs> instead of writing useless notes? That's a good point. I, I think so. If I were by myself playing this for the first time, here's what I would do. I would go to the church and I would talk to the priest and I would probably click on the note to give to the priest, ask all the questions. And then I'm going to go back to this guy and he's going to tell me something. Those are my, this is my spidey sense. Yeah. That said, should we're, we check we're out? We're running errands. We're running today's errands. Today's episode. Oh, this is the bar, right? That's right. If we go back into these places, does anything new happen? Yeah. Well, let's check it out um, before we, let's have a glass of beer before. Oh, Sweatshop Dave is raiding us with a party of nine. <laughs> oh, what's that? What's Sweatshot up? Dave is raiding us with a party of nine. Well, he finished his stream, so he's taken his nine uh, viewers and he. Welcome. Welcome, our Sweatshot. That's very sweet. Appreciate it. Um, maybe you can help us. Uh, I'd like to get a, a, some. Like a... Maybe you can look at the, the pictures we looked before. Maybe okay. we have some new information. Is this guy going to I don't want to disturb him. Do we never get to talk to him? That seems so unfair. Uh, all right, let's go take a look at some stuff. 
Oh, so maybe this is, we, we're going to know more about this. Why is he on there? Who is he? Oh, it's a she. Or is it a he? I don't know. It's a very, very striking face. Um, doesn't say anything. Probably underneath it does. What's that? Oh, how do I? I have no idea what that says. Was it's old, the, though. Was this the same picture before? The one yeah, I... did you click the picture? Uh, no, let me do it again. Oh, get out of here. Oh, yeah, you have to, once you see it, you have to click on it. Now that I click on it. Pretty damn cute. Yeah. I wonder who he is. No, no. Okay, so let's, uh, get, let's go uh, back to the church. Oh, I want to see what it, come on, you got to talk to the guy for a second. Look at that, that bar, look at that piece Hello. of wood. Yes. Well, I guess I got some questions to ask. Look at that mahogany or whatever that is that's incredible is that real or is that uh is that just yeah movie trickery? actually it might be because his reflection is on on the counter yeah so it's not a blue screen i don't know i don't know do you I know think anything it is real. about king ludwig the second of course oh. everybody knows about ludwig <laughs> He was the last true king Bavarian. Why do we need to go talk to the priest? Why do you think I hang his portrait? Oh, yeah. that was King Ludwig? that article on the wall. That's not him. Yeah. Do you know what that is? That is from the Munich newspaper the day after the king died. My great-grandfather saved it. It has been handed down to every first son. That is what Bavarians think of Ludwig. Okay. Okay, is there more? Is that the same one? Another one. Um, what was Ludwig like? Why is he so revered? Yeah. Oh, he was a genius. He had a great mind, you know. He built castles, is what he did, and kept on building them until they killed him. Who killed him? Them, those politicians. Werewolves. They, they said he was crazy. Got a doctor to sign some papers. They arrested him. Then what happened? What do you think? They killed him. Oh, they said it was suicide. But me, I don't believe that. It was murder. Because he built too many castles. See? That bastard. <clears throat> Castle building is a dangerous. Thanks. Peter. Now, now we can look. Yeah, now you can take a look at the picture, and she'll say something else. Yeah, I want to look at it again, anyways, because I don't think this looks too. This doesn't look like. Maybe is it? I mean, I think Jane Jensen is a really stickler for history, so maybe. But that looks too. That doesn't look like a a, a portrait no. from another no. era, does it? No. It's definitely mocked like up it. for this. <laughs> <laughs> So that's King Ludwig II of Bavaria. I don't think it is. I think it's an actor. It's a it's a mock up. So that right. like Bill Davis in the last episode yeah. who played the Wolfgang. <laughs> All right. Let's get out of here. We learned some things. All right, let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna make her walk the whole way. You no, know, one of the things that bother me in FMV games is it's that it's so easy to make the scene more believable by adding a shadow beneath the characters, but the characters don't have shadows. Oh, which yeah. Makes them feel out of place. I hey, wonder what kind of flowers these are. Yeah, I'm fine. Let's go read about them. I wonder what kind okay. of. I thought I was onto something here. Is there anything else? I can go that way, but I don't want to go that way yet. What about that? Oh, same thing. All right. All right, all right. What's this? St. Georg Church. That's it. All right. I don't know what. And those, there's those scribbling their hours. schedule. That's their, okay. Here we go. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, look like that. He's here already. I don't even have to look for him. Grace Nakamura. <laughs> Why doesn't she say, that's me, Grace Nakamura? Come on. Good try. 
Und Papiere. Äh, Geschichte von 1750. Oh gosh, how do you say that? Uh, you speak English. Sprechen Sie Englisch? Nein, leider spreche ich nicht oh, Englisch. No. All right. Danke. Oh, shoot, we're in trouble. Okay. I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Um, okay. We do him again. Give the note. To it's the no priest. use. He doesn't speak English. Uh, and I can't communicate well Click him again. Say, again. say what? Click, click him up. again. It's no use. He doesn't speak English. And She's I can't communicate well it's enough no use. German. She's saying it's no use. <laughs> click him again. It's no use. He doesn't speak English, and I can't communicate well enough in German. It also that? sounds like a different, uh, uh, it sounds, there, there's some weird. Yes, yeah, some of the voiceovers sound phoned in. Yeah. And Are, some of them sound yeah. like they were actually in the studio. When you say phoned in, you're not using the, the phrase. Yeah, they I'm, just, they're actually phoned in. Yeah, right. Uh, so I had something to give to him, right? Is it this one? What's that? Yeah, that's in German. I'll bet you he'll, but if I, oh, I see. I know what's going to happen because we want, I want to have him, I know what to do. I know exactly what to do. I think. Let me see if I can do this without your, your guidance. All right. I'm going to hand him. What do I do first though? That's the question. So if I do that. Entschuldigen Sie bitte. Yeah. Das here is von Herrn I got a note from my dad. <laughs> Ein Moment, bitte. Oh, all right. I think I need to tape record him and then I bring the tape das ist back. Für Sie. Oh. Danke schön. That's it. That's it? I thought I was gonna have to do some splicing and Well, record. unlike unlike Gabriel, she's not recording stuff. She's writing them I down. So if you want to this. check out the previous conversation, you'll have to go and read it. Okay, gotcha. All right. Good point. We don't have tapes here, do we? I didn't realize that. I have my notebook. Oh, what do I got here? Have we looked at this stuff yet? Zofar one threw a hundred beats at us and said that the domain says it's no use. What was, say that again? It's no use. It's the no domain use. says it's no use. Yeah, that's what it sounded like. Uh, have we read this stuff yet? Do I need to read this stuff? Probably, huh? I'm waiting for your response, Daniel. Just click it. Gerda says that Gabriel's on a case for Werner Huber, who runs the Gustav in town. She won't tell me what it's about, though. She says he's staying somewhere near Munich. Werner Huber so says that Gabriel's this is, case this concerns the conversation, werewolves. So nothing important. Can, Did I mention really? that Gabriel go is a back. pig? Go. Good thing I'm doing all this Everyone's for me. Everyone's a pig, Grace. Everyone's a pig in your world. So we don't need to look yeah. at all this stuff yet. So I don't if, don't I have to like lay everything else? Like I have to read these at some to be able to do all the no, things? No, it's just like the tapes for Gabriel. Okay, okay, gotcha. They're just there to remind you of stuff. So okay. you can exit and okay. go back to the first uh, green window. Werner ah. Let me out of here. It won't let me exit. Click the exit on oh, the it bottom is. left. There it is. That snuck on me. Okay. Uh, nothing more to see here. It's no use. It's no use. All right. Let's get out of here. You're going to come out? Ah! I guess I have to go that way. All right. Now let's go talk to him again. <laughs> All right. You see, if they just added a shadow beneath her, her avatar, it would look know. much more believable. I hear you, but it would still not look believable. In this way, it's more funny. Yeah. I think they made the right choice because it is kind of fun to watch her walking around with no shadow. All right. Hey, guess what I have? I'm going to knock on the door again. The fake door. Hello again. Did you need something else? Well, this one's a little bit more. Uh, you know, all the times that we had to click on uh, the, the, the the shopkeeper the, the, the in Fantasma One. Yeah, yeah. All the times we have to click on her. And every time she's like so surprised that she's talking to Adrian, yeah. even though she's standing right in oh, front Adrian. of her. Hi. This one's done a little bit better because at least he has to open the door and, and discover her each time. All right, I got a church file. I have the church file. <laughs> a 
Excellent. Let me see it. She's like a, a, a little girl farm. who went on a, on a treasure hunt. What's this? <clears throat> this is in English. It's from a lawyer in Buenos Aires. It's addressed to St. Georg's Church. The date is 1764. What's it say? It's a request for information about the death of Baron Klaus von Raleigh. It says it's for the family. I assume someone answered it. Mm. Curious? What? Curious the seals. On the envelope. A wolf. Huh? Okay. <clears throat> the last confession. Robert Holmes, good music mm -hmm. here. The Raleigh family uh, took the symbol of a black wolf uh, to represent their great skill at the hunt. Uh, let me see. Uh, Klaus von Raleigh says that he lived up to, to the family symbol too well. His friends nicknamed him the Black Wolf, uh, but he confessed it was more because he was prideful and uh, treated his villagers and women uh, very badly. He was much feared. The Baron confesses that uh, a life of sin brought the werewolf curse upon him. Ah, listen to this. Okay. A gypsy camp, uh, Hungarians, uh, came to Alfing one day. He wanted one of their young women. Uh, he had her brought to his castle by force, and there he... Raped her? Raped her, Oof. yes. He intended to release her, uh, but before he did, the girl killed herself. The next day, an old gypsy woman from the camp uh, cursed him, saying that he was to become the shape that his name and his crimes showed his heart to be. Oh, I see. how he became a werewolf. Soon afterwards, her curse came about. Klaus von Raleck began to change, to run at night as wolf, uh, to kill and eat human flesh. He begs forgiveness from God and from his wife and son. Uh, he says he welcomes his punishment, if only it will pay for his sins mm. and save his family from further pain. He's feeling guilty. Hmm. That is all that is written. That is all that is written. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> wow, indeed. I'll uh, return this to Father Gets for you. Thank you. Good luck to you, young lady. Uh, and to your shopping Jäger. Bye. All right. He didn't tell us to come back, although I'll bet he'll be a source of information later on. Okay, so I need to process what we just learned here. Um, it seems to me that everybody already knows about this, and yet... This, the way he was reading it, he sounded very surprised. So it's Von, what's his name? Rockton, Stuben, Schnucken? Rock, rock, yeah, that guy. that's his name. He's the guy that was turned into a werewolf because he was a bad person. He raped somebody. What did he, what was he, what was he prior to him? And doing? then the gypsy cursed him because of that. Yes. And what was he, who is he before? Like, was he a, a noble person or just a regular what? Do we care? Do I'm we know? I'm not sure. No. Okay. Um, and then he was feeling bad about all of his sins and was hoping he could atone for them. And that's what I got. Um, and she's found that out. And do we have a clear directive of where to go next? Not really. So now... Well, given that Grace is such a great researcher, uh, she might want to update her better have or lesser half of the, oh. her new findings. Yes. Well, okay. Th that's too big of a hint. I can, I get you. I was thinking that if there was, there's nowhere to go that way. So the only way, I, oh, I know. What, what about, 
Okay. Well, how do I, yeah, there's a way to skip through. Ah, come back. Oh my God, what's going on? <laughs> Isn't there a way to like? You went to the bathroom. Oh, I can keep going <laughs> this way. Okay, go to. This where way, are you right? trying to go? I'm trying to get out of here. Uh, okay, so click the exit in the middle of the screen. Yeah, but then how do I skip through it again? Isn't there like a? No, that's only in a certain uh, location okay. in Gabriel's chapters. And I guess I have to, I still can't get in the car. I can't get into town. If I want to go see, oh, I guess I'm going to go talk to Gerda. There's no place, I can't get in the car. I, I've already done everything in town, so I must be having to go back into here. Okay. Try a different tactic, Grace. Try some kindness. A little, a little spoonful of kindness. We'll go down a long I don't way. have anything to say to her right now. Still don't have anything to say to her. Okay, so... Ritter ancestors, I assume. Uh, I guess I'm going to go back up to the, the office or the, the little library area. Okay, okay. So I want to go through here. I... Th oh, I'm going to go through the... I'm going to explore a little. Yeah. But this ain't no Phantasmagoria 1. Whatever happens once will happen again. Oh. With Phantasmagoria 1, you have the painting the, the, the painting that, that changes between chapters. Yeah. The things that change. Things don't change here. Things things are yeah. all the same. But when you go back, is, aren't there like different parts of the game don't each... Yeah, there are, there are new things to do there, for example. Once we go back to the office. I don't want to go back into Geta's bedroom. She might catch me in there. What was that on here? Grace Nakamura. Oh, yeah, sorry. Okay, good. I forgot all this stuff. It's been a while, and I know that you've all gone down these places a bunch of times, so give me a... Literally gone down these places. Yeah, so let's... See, there's good music here, too. It's just going slow. It's very much like... We should also do a side by side of her and Adrian going down the into the that pan, the spooky stairs the spooky stairs we've done this right yeah I'm back out yeah. here no I'm... all right all right What's... but she's acting as if we didn't just do it in the last episode the castle looks huge from here it does that's all we got huh Nothing this way. How convenient. When the Lord of the oh, Manor is... Okay, all right, all right. Okay. There's even angry at flowers, man. <laughs> I can't take it. <laughs> all right, so now I want to get no, this no, no. way. Yep. Yeah. Oh, this way, yeah. I got... All right, let's go. Back to the desk, I think. Exit was the wrong word that they chose. It yeah. always, they they could have some somebody. They, they use it. They use the same the same cursor in the church when you are yeah. going up the stairs. Yeah, somebody in the that process could have decided. Could have somewhere. No, along. but you know the reason for that because, for example, in Phantasmagoria two, you have an arrow for each direction, so you can go to the right or to the top right or to the top left. Yeah. But here, you only have the dagger as the cursor. So they wanted to emphasize the fact that you're not going in that in that direction, or you're going a bit to I, the side. Yeah, but still, exit. Um, there was there was a there was a better word out there. Um, all right. Uh, this ain't no phantasmagoria too. <laughs> nope. Um, notebook. I don't know what to do here. Uh, the thing that they write a letter. I'm gonna write a letter. Okay. How do you yeah. write, how do you write a letter? It's like, oh. it's right in front of us. Okay, there we go. All right, Knight, I've got your research. Oh my gosh, we're going to sit and watch her type. This is great. How this many... This entire game is reading and any, writing. Anybody here in there? Oh, that's a high five for you too, Daniel. But my, my, raise your hand or raise your digital chat hand if you've ever typed a letter on an actual typewriter. And that will show... In 1994. Show your age. My dad had one of those clunky, big, 
Smith Coronas in his office that I remember writing my first letters on. What um, age? Oh, I had to be, oh, you know, 12, 13, something like that. I learned how to type on an electric typewriter. But yeah, I, that, but those kinds of typewriters were still around in my day. Now I just need day. somewhere to send it to. Oh, we got a, we got a few others. Yep, yeah, Anthony, <laughs> the God Fet. All right. Uh, it's so, so far. So far. And Sturm. YT Wanderer. George, there we go. And Emil. And YT. Oh my God, everyone. <laughs> Oh, we're a bunch of old farts. I love it. Um, we're all showing our age. Okay, so I wrote a letter. Do I have the letter now? This is the letter. Yeah. Oh, I know where to, to go. It. I know where to go. There's a post office in the town. But how do I get to the town? Uh, Actually, first of all, how do you know there's a post office? We saw in the YouTube comments because we talked about it in the previous episode. No, I've been to the post office numerous times and there's never a place. There's never a reason to go there. With, in the with, previous episode? Yeah, and Gabriel, with Gabriel. That There's, you remember? That I remember because I've been there a bunch of times. And I've been wondering, like, why can't I use this place? I have I have intermittent memories of things. Um, okay, but, but you still need an address to write on the package before you go to the post office. Okay. So how do you find out? Address to write and on the package. How do you find Gabriel's address? Oh, that's a good <laughs> You don't need to type it. No, you just I know. Need to find it. I know. I think I know where it is. Thank you for your. Uh, wait, is this is this all the stuff I have? I thought I had more than. Didn't I have more stuff than this? Do I lose things once I show it to somebody? You lose things out of anger. That's, a, that's not right. So that. Whenever she's angry, she throws stuff from her inventory, and then you no longer have it. How do I? Oh, there's an exit. Ah. If I don't, you don't need to type anything. You can just get up I and just... go look for Gabriel's address. I thought it was on somewhere. the letter that he wrote her. Remember, there was a letter that he wrote her. I thought it would be on that, but that's not the case. You're telling me now. But also, how can we have so many? We don't have the same amount of inventory that we had before. I forgot what that is. What is that? My wallet. Okay, her wallet. I converted some cash to marks at the airport. Okay, so we good to know. All right, I guess I'm getting out of here based on this. It's a mo modern oh. wallet. I got to go find Gabriel's some... wallet. Is, Gabriel's wallet is Velcro. Um, I had a Velcro wallet. Raise your hand if you ever had a Velcro. Well, wallet. I had a Velcro <laughs> wallet as well. <laughs> um, so good, you're one for two. Um, so I think we have to go into Gabriel's room. By the way, since you show items in your inventory, maybe you'll switch to the other view. Oh, yeah, yeah. The Sorry, viewers guys. aren't seen. Oh, good call. Thank you. All right, let's do that. I only wanted to show that during the movie stuff, but I'm getting too caught up. Maybe leave it in this view. All right, I'll do that. Oh, wait, how come I that went out? Okay. Oh, I can't get out. Okay, there we go. Now I got to get out of here. Get out this door. I'm going to find Gabriel's. No. Is there another place I can go to? Because I'm going to see her. Grace Nakamura. Yeah, yeah. Isn't there a way to get into Gabriel's room? No, maybe you could uh, ask her? for help. Well, I've asked her a million times. Now I don't I... have anything to say to her right now. Well, you guys What's might... That sound? You're going to be hearing some grinding. I have uh, a guy out. I didn't. I forgot all about this. I have somebody doing some work on on our. So I'll I'll uh, when I'm not talking, I'll try to mute. Oh, that's going to be loud. Sorry, guys. Um, let's see. I have to get out of here, right? No. Okay. You need an address on that envelope. Oh, okay. I see. I see. I have to. I have to point. I have to click things and put them on people. Okay. There we go. I found the items that Gabriel wanted. Did he tell you uh, where to send? Yell at her. Yell. Yes. His lawyer's office in Munich. Can I get the address? Harald Übergrau, Marienplatz 21, München.
Thanks. You're still muted, Paul. Did you guys all notice that when you first played the game? Is that a normal? Is it when do have people commented on on Grace's um, you know, less than pleasant attitude? <laughs> is that is, is this just me figuring this out, or did people have fun with this in the past? I'm I remember the first time I played it. She, she seemed angry for no reason. Yeah. Regardless of what happened in the first game, right? She has like a different personality. Right. Exactly. Uh, so now I can go. But I still don't know how by, to get... By the way, everyone's saying, the Monomaniac is saying, and Clement is saying that you should leave the the sounds on because um, you can say that it's the handyman fixing the bedroom. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Handyman fixing the bedroom. This is all just part of our our cinema, our, our surround sound. There we go. Yeah. Um, all right, so... Okay, let's get out of that. And... I still can't just being a real pig about those car keys. But how do I get into town? The same way you did before this every is... other time. But is this, this is, this is a different, I'm not in the same town that I can't take, take the, uh, I can't get on the expressway or the, the, the subway system, right? This is a, no. So I, I have to find a post office in town here. Maybe. Wait a second. Which post office were you talking about? The, the one, one that Gabriel saw? Yeah. That's what well, I was talking about. We're in a different part oh. of Germany. So oh, it's so, not the same post. So she doesn't have Because the... I thought I thought you mentioned it because in the last episode, someone commented that in the YouTube comments, he said that um, we totally missed the post office. And here. In the okay. previous episode. Yeah. It's somewhere here. All right. Well, and wait. and I replied that we didn't need the post office. And when I first played the game, I also didn't notice that there's a post office over here. Haha! <laughs> I found but it while, while you're talking. One, I just immediately yeah. went and found it. There you go. Okay. So now I understand the confusion. All right. Uh, all right. Let's check. There's it out. no one there. Well, what do I do? Ring the doorbell. Grüß Gott. Grüß Gott. Womit kann ich Ihnen dienen? Oh, what happened? They both looked... They're fidgeting. Yeah, well, yeah, the they're, fidgeting looked like yeah. they were like they had heard something and that there's no, something The, the fidgeting is like an awkward, uh, awkward oh, silence I can where do you it. can't looks look like, at the looks like the I person. Can, I want to see that one more time. And go, go. There was one where they did it at the same time. Whoop. All right. I think their fidgeters are have a different length. So my German isn't good been... enough for chit chat. <laughs> okay. Well, you're not much of a chit chatter anyway. Well, yeah, so nach Muschen gehen. Sieben Mark fertig bitte. They both look so. They both look paranoid. All right. What else? My German isn't good enough for chit chat. Well, okay, but then what do I do now? I she want to give me something. Do I get out of here? My German isn't good enough for chit chat. Wait, okay. is it still in the inventory? Yeah, I get, well, it's still in the no. inventory. That's no, a different. That's thing. it. Okay. All right, so let's get out of here. No, you should pay her. Nein, danke. You're okay. I just took it. Should I go back and yeah. pair? Yeah. All right. Oh. <laughs> um, it's me again. Who's God? Okay. Uh, okay. My wallet. Boom. No, but give her the she package. She hasn't asked first. me for money. Uh, but I already got, oh, I took the package though, but I don't, I have the package. Here's the package. Give her the package. Oh. Then when she asks for money, give her some money. Ich möchte es dann heute verschicken. Sieben Mark fertig, bitte. Okay, now I'm gonna give you money. <laughs> what happened? Okay. Thank you, Sharon. 
Good to see you. Okay, so that that'll take... give him something to chew on. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, I need her to take it. Oh, now we're back here. No, oh, it's the Angry Book Club. <laughs> She's even reading Angry. Yeah. Oh, we have to. I want Gerda to talk to us. I really do. Man, you can sit in a, in different rooms. You don't have to sit together when you hate each other so much. Yeah. I'll answer. No, I'll answer it. Guten Abend. Uh, Guten, how how are you? Uh, is this a castle of the shot and joggers here? <laughs> yes. Quick, comic so relief. Exciting. Comic oh, relief. Yeah. We are so thrilled to be here. Emma said it's the 1990s, for heaven's sake. The shot and joggers are probably long gone. Well, of course they aren't, I said. A family like that doesn't just dry up and blow away. The good Lord's put his mark on them. Who are you? I was just wondering the same thing, dear. <laughs> Neither of you girls look like the heroic type, but who am I to judge? Hey, they're God bonding. They're bonding soldiers. on and these. And who am I to put in my two cents? No, we're the, we're the Smiths from Merrimack, Pennsylvania. Uh, this is my wife, Merle. You can call me Emil. My husband. If I don't get right to the point, he'll get there for me. <laughs> it's nice to meet you both. Uh -huh. We well, got Grace how left. Did you hear about Grace the Schottenhangers? Oh, we're demonologists. He's, he's, got, he's got a real Don Knotts kind of thing going. About a lot of different things. For so uh, those of us who had typewriters, we know who Don Knotts is. Uh, occultist scholar, aren't you, Mother? That's right. Yeah. I read about yeah. you all when I was studying an old witch trial last spring, and oh, I have been she's dying come in to handy. get over here ever since. Well, so nice of you to stop by, but I'm afraid the Schottenhager isn't here right now. <laughs> I'll let him know here we go. Though. Oh no! When I was so hoping to talk shop, we fighters of darkness are so rare these days. Don't I know it can't scare one up to save your soul? No, uh, it's not your fault, Missy. I, I told Merle to call before he came. Now, people just don't take you seriously unless you're standing right there. You know that, Em. Well, it's rather late, and if you're driving, you might as well, you know, oh, go out uh, right now. Don't worry about that. We're going to spend the night at the guest house in town. Stop by tomorrow, won't you, dear? You and I can exchange stories at least. We'll see. Oh, we'll stop by. But Ian. Good night, ladies. Ooh. Good night. Good night. Uh oh. Wait, what's wrong? She's having a moment. Well, this just happens, man. I'm sorry. I'll give her some water. Give me your hand. I see. I see danger. How come Phantasmagoria Someone 2 didn't have a, to you a, is in danger. a visionary? Gabriel, I see something. Something like a wolf. <laughs> that, was, that was quick. Black wolf. Uh, now, don't you worry, miss. Uh, my Merle is going to be all right. This just happens sometimes. That's all. It just, it just happens. Come on, Merle. Let's go. Come on. So something's leading me to believe that there's a black what werewolf. Happens? Gonna come into the picture at some point. I don't know. Are you two friends or not? I think they should just. I think they're in love with each other. Hey, we did it! Chapter two. Nice. High five. High five. Kaboom. All right. All right. Well, let's uh, take a sec. Um, and I'm so sorry about the the, the grinding noise, you guys. Life is a strange thing. Um, Let's check the chat out a little bit. Um, I'm going to scroll a little and see what folks are chatting about. Yeah, people forgot about the scene with these these two. Uh, GK3 made my eyes hurt, says Brian McDowell. It deserves a remake with more than five polygons. Yep. Um, yeah, people had... That was a fun... People enjoyed your angry book club. That's good. The Smiths, yes, everybody loves the Smiths. I'm sure they come back in channel chapter three. Um, she's gassy. <laughs> do I do? Um, yep. Yeah. All right. Gamers Grotto. One moment he calls her Merle, then later he mumbles her mother. Yeah. Sometimes like, oh God, you guys, I'm gonna. <laughs> 
All right, should we just hop on into chapter three here? Uh, it's 1.20. I was planning on going until two today. If this noise gets too much, we'll we'll cut out a little bit early. You tell me, Daniel. Hey, thank you, Whitey here. Wanderer. Whitey Wonder. Oh, dude, you're the best, man. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it, as always. Chapter complete. All right, shall we start? Yeah, we're ready to go back to oh, uh, let's do walking great right. Gabriel's shoes. There he is. Oh, now, now we're switching. Just back taking and forth. a nap. Okay, get a little flashback stuff here. Ooh. He's watching National Geographic. <laughs> what is the metaphor there? Swan is. Ooh. Nice. Okay. With a hand in his pants. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Oh god. Have you has that been I imagine that has been discussed in the past. I'm sure that Dean declines said uh, joining interviews being interviewed by you because of this. Luckily, the, the belt was still strapped up. It would have been great if the belt was, you know, just undone and Un unbuckled. One, one button was down. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. New chapter, bunch of new stuff. So I get to look around without feeling like a dork. I think. China. Yeah, I'll homie. All right. Nothing? Oh, it's I don't need anything else right now. Nothing? Seriously, why don't you want to... So I guess I, so I guess there's nothing to check around. What's out here? That goes in, doesn't he always say, I don't want to go through there. Oh no, I guess I'm going outside. Do I ever go into the other room that he says I shouldn't go into that room? Why should you go over there? Huh? Why should you go there? Well, because it's a room. Why wouldn't we? If they... First of all, Hey, since you've already completed Phantasmagoria 2, then you'd probably um, do the same things that you do in Phantasmagoria 2. In Phantasmagoria 2, we check the mail each day. And in Gabriel Knight 2, we have to check the... We're going to check there. Newspaper. Oh, where's the newspaper? I don't remember where the newspaper is. I want to walk the table. That's for tending those window boxes. Uh, oh, the newspaper's at the table. Okay. And since it's a new day, Gabriel just woke up. There's a new newspaper. Oh, where's the coffee? Dun, dun, dun. There, and instead, there's a zoo. Oh, someone died in the zoo. Another death in the zoo. Killer wolf. Schlagen in there. In the like it. Oh. It looks like there's been another wolf killing. And this one occurred last night in downtown Munich. All right. Got it. Is there more? That's it, huh? Is there... What's that? I don't have anything to write about at the moment. You will when you get Grace's thing. Who should I call? All right. Check no. if there's anything else. Mirror. Let's check our golden locks out. Looking good, Gabriel. Yeah. He should give himself a little wink. Uh, what's that? We have the keys. Look, I already have that. I think I have the keys already, right? Yeah. Uh, Do you have anything in your inventory? Check out? Or. Not? Yeah, I haven't looked at stuff in a while. What is this? That's the. Memos. My notebook. Okay, nothing to... Can I get in there? My notebook. No, I guess not. My notebook. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. How, to... How do I get rid of it? Click on the exit, exit button in the top. Stupid exit. Okay. Bottom left. I got it. Uh, do I have... Do I have to check all this stuff out? Let's see. Let's no. See. Okay. Nothing new here. All Let's right. go... Let's go visit... All right. Our lawyer... 
I was hoping oh, for a Mercedes. Oh, do I have the keys? I have to get the keys, yeah. right? Yeah, there we go. The best puzzle in the game. Use the keys on the car each time. <laughs> we need to go to our lawyer, Uber Grau, which means Super Grey. Oh, I don't remember where he's at. Uh, I think he Malian was... Platz. Yeah, that was, that was my... That was, that was my guess. Am I really halfway through Phantasmagoria 1? Thank goodness. You know, in Phantasmagoria 1, you have a progress bar when you click the... when you go to the settings. I did not know that. It tells you... A progress bar that shows you a, huh. how... You know, the seven chapters, they are divided, and you can see how close you are to the end of each chapter. Oh, wow. I, let's check that out next time. Yeah. Um, it's becoming like a multiverse. You know, up until now, okay. the live streams have been separate. Like you had the, the Monday live stream and the Friday live stream. But now we give the together. tips. Yeah. yeah. So Britt just said that there is something in our inventory that we need to look at to unlock something. So I wonder if I should do that now. Uh, uh, where did she say that? I saw it a second ago. Okay, so let me. Oh, Brit, yeah, Brit said. Okay, so uh, uh, let's do that. What am I supposed to check? Um, there is the the fun blowers card, not this one. Mm -hmm. Here. Baron Friedrich von Glauer. He lives in the Perlapa yeah. district. How did I get that card? Oh, the guy at the 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 guy. At the hotel? Hunting club. Huh? Hunting club, right. Yeah. Okay. So, am I good? Yep. Oh, oh no. back to work. Good. Yeah, thank you. Oh, I was hoping you'd stop by. Um, I have a package for you. should give her a line, at least. Let her say, Gabriel Knight here to see you. Must be from Gertie. I trust this morning finds you well, Mr. Knight. Yeah, well, I'm lucky it's found me at all. <laughs> you can call me Gabriel, by the way. Oh, of course. Call me Harald. Um, Harry's okay, too. What's he going to call him? Harry. Hey, call him Harry. What would you have called him? I would have stayed with Harold, probably. That's the difference between Gabriel Knight and me. Uh, Whenever he starts to drink his coffee, click him. Really? We'll stop. Yeah. All right, you're going to do it again? When he starts to yeah, You can interrupt him by clicking him. Okay, I'm going to do it. Come on, coffee. Let's go, coffee. Riveting gameplay. I got my... Uh, boom. I don't have anything else to say right now. <laughs> yeah, this was fun. This was... <laughs> this just shows... I just see the the teenager in you, Daniel, when you played these games originally, and you still have this... Yeah, it's enthusiasm for like the funny things like that. Like you got to stop him from drinking his coffee. All right, what do we got to say? I here? don't have anything else to say. That's right it. Now. That's it. You just, yeah. All right. Dang. All this. I had to drive my car. Well, of course, I had mm -hmm. to get something. All right. There we go. You had to use your keys on See your you, car. Goodbye. See you, Harry. Goodbye, Gabriel. He looks like he got a haircut since last time we saw him. Oh, he's going to the police. Yeah. Who? What's going on? This. Is... Oh, I thought that would be like a plot point. Now everything's new, right? I can check new stuff. There seems like you can check old stuff as well. Old stuff. I don't think she no. speaks much English. But you're not gonna let me. Hack flush. That's a. So he, there's never been a single thing he could do here, right? Blood sausage, head cheese, pork innards. Mm. I don't get it. Why would you make this area? I guess I just don't, I don't get it. You would think that there would be, she would be, she would possess some knowledge that we could get, or we could have a funny yeah, scene. Yeah, but, he, but for example, you're currently playing Phantasmagoria 1, and you notice how many things don't you can do there that don't, yeah. I know, but. Just red, red herrings. It doesn't stop me from commenting on it, though. I just think, I think they're looking back in retrospect 
There could have been a few more things they could have done to even just a funny little joke or something would have been good. Um, all right. Uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I have the, I have, wait, I should look at this thing, I guess. Maybe you should uh, check out the stores. Yeah, okay. Oh boy, you guys ready for this? Maybe we should, is there like a place we can sit down at, like a cafeteria or something? And, right. March 18th, 1994. Gabriel, 94. you might as well know, I'm in Riddersburg. I wasn't about to sit in New Orleans and let you have all the fun. Besides, if it goes anything like last time, you're going to need my help. I've been doing the research Gerda said you wanted. Enclosed is a book you might find useful. It looks a little outdated, but then I've never dealt with werewolves before, so it's hard to be sure. There's also some werewolf history right here in town. I found some clues pointing to a werewolf called the Black Wolf. He's cropped up in a couple of places, including here in Riddersburg in 1750, and in association with Ludwig II, a Bavarian king that died in 1886. It's all ancient history, I know, but something tells me that it is relevant. I'm not sure where to go from here, except to look into Ludwig II. Ask around about the Black Wolf in Munich and see what you find out. Also, let me know if you want me to research Ludwig or join you there. I'm sending this to your lawyer, but I'll need to contact you directly. Send your address and phone number ASAP. Herr Huber is being stubborn and won't tell me. Be careful and write. Grace. Damn it. Use that underline beneath right. She's off in the ozone somewhere. How did she do Black that with a typewriter? Ludwig the second. She's really losing it. Wait, you were you you? I was hearing you and Gabriel talking. Uh, I said I said that uh, the word right has a line beneath it, as if she was using a word processor <laughs> and used an underline. <laughs> you can't. But, you know what? It's, it, no, in a typewriter, and I think my my fellow typewriter people will back me up. You can, you go back to the word, word to the W, and then and you type hit the a underscores. Yep, you do underscore underscore underscore. As far as that was what you had to do back in the day. Um, all right, my 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 grinder's back in action here. Um, so he knows Grace is here. She's giving him some information. Oh, what about the books? Uh, are the books that he gave us? She gave us some books, right? Mm -hmm. All of the books that we've already read. Oh, really? Yeah, all of the books that she had in her possession, she sent them over in the package, the lycanthropy and all of that crap. Oh, okay, so we've read all that stuff. But it, is it in his inventory anymore? I mean... I it's know. in his inventory. It's not it. in hers anymore. Well, I'm in his inventory. I don't see his, the books. You can see them in the first row. These guys? Here's the... Here's oh, the right. Like the, okay, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so now we got all the stuff. All right. All right. I guess we should check out some shops. And now I can go forward. We have to... Hey, we just passed that guy. He passed us. Here, right? Wait, you skipped? No, you I shouldn't. Didn't. Did I skip something? Shouldn't skip. I no, did you skip. should go to, yeah. Go back. Don't skip. Yeah. Right, go, go check the stores. All right, now let's go back this way. And now I'm gonna do that. I'm not gonna skip. Well, that's where I was trying to skip. Wow. Well, okay. So if I skip, I. Yes, we get to go in. New guy. Clocks. <laughs> I'm just saying the Hello. most obvious things. Clocks. Close New person. Clock. Bow tie. Big shoulder pads. He checks his watch. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> he has clocks everywhere. <laughs> and he checks his watch to make sure. Uh, wait, wait. Uh, I have to ask you. In Phantasmagoria 2, did they tell you what to do in each fidgeter? Or they just told you... Do something, be natural. I remember Andy would just say, do something. He would just say, he, he would just go, uh, yeah, do that. And he, sometimes he would say, I don't know if I wore a watch. Did I wear a watch? But he would say, like, scratch your hand. Or, you know, he would sometimes give you things. Or he would just say, you know, every 10 seconds, do something else. So that's, that's all I can remember. 
All right. He doesn't strike me as a sparkling conversationalist. Well, we're here for a reason, so... Okay, we're going to give him something. A, a sparkling conversationalist. No, maybe. You should click what on does something. The, I, okay, wait, just... I'm going to have to... You're, you're going to have to... I'm going to have to leave the nest some point, Daniel. It's going to... Let me see. Oh. No! Let's go back in. Can I go back you in? You left the nest. <laughs> I left the nest. I want to go back in the nest. All right, stop. Go in there. Try it again. Boom, boom. There's that. He doesn't strike me as a All sparkling right. convert. No, don't. There's that. Aha. Cute. <laughs> Here, you can have it. Maybe there's a werewolf in there. Yeah, well, <laughs> He's so there is sweet. Um, there is in there uh, this uh, sound thing, you know, to, to, to wake up. You, you know, in the morning. Uh, An alarm clock. An alarm yeah, clock. Yeah, alarm clock. Yeah, richtig. Yeah. How much is it? We feel 60 marks. Well, I guess I'm going to buy it. Do I have a wallet? There's my wallet. Yeah, let's buy this thing. I'll take that woodpecker clock. 60 marks, bitte. Boy. He really counted it out. That's, That's right, a method I'll actor. Take it as it is. Take it as it is. Dankeschön. <laughs> well, Bitter. All right. There doesn't seem to be much. I'm sure he has a reason for purchasing this. And now when he walks down the street, he probably has it in his hand, right? Or is this a different shop right here, right? Where's the clock? Where's the clock? <coughs> Let's take a look at it. You never know when a little woodpecking will come in handy. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. All right. You never know. All right. You never know when a little woodpecking comes in handy. All right. Just, I don't think we're going to get I've it already here. got a watch. Thank you. Is that the same place? You no, know, it seems that our viewers are of the right age, and all of them know that typewriters have underscores. Aha! All right. Well Love done. It. That's my crown. <laughs> You're the baby of this group. Um, okay, I guess we just keep on going here. I'm afraid to click through. We're going to see the. Looked like he was, oh, aha, notice how the sun was bothered his eyes. Werewolves don't like sun. No, that's, that's, uh, that's vampires. vampires. All right. She almost seems to be watching me. Hmm. Is that just another red herring? Does she come back into play? Oh, these are just That some must things. be the famous Munich Glock. Oh, yeah, they're showing us the stuff. We've seen all this stuff before. Uh, wait a minute. Did I just come out of there? Or did I? No, I'm lost. Did I already go around the... Yeah, that's where you came from. You came from the left. Now maybe you want to go to in, the right. The right? Uh, what's in there? The, the scene that you just saw. Oh, okay. Do, 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 do. Not Lots idea. of Nietzsche and Kant. I don't understand that stuff even when it's in English. Yet you're a writer. And yet you call yourself a writer. Um, all right, I'm wandering. Is this, a, is this the right place to be wandering? Yep. Okay. What else do we got here? They're not going to let me talk to them. I'd give it a and shot. You got new people over there. The got new people. Kind of you can't talk to them either, but they're busy. Something changed. Yeah, they're busy. Kind of the hot hippie couple. 
hot hippie yep. German couple. Oh yeah, they're the pa backpackers. I did that. I did six months of that. I didn't look as cool as they did though. And in the same time, right? Probably so around the same time. It? I did. No, I did it earlier, like um, 89, 88, 88, yeah, okay. something like that. Remember, I had typewriters, Daniel. Um, all right. Let's see. So if I can go that way. Oh, I want to go talk to the, might as well go to the hunt club. But let's, oh, do I have anything? I haven't written Grace anything, so I can't go to the. Wait, has something changed in the, in the street? Even their trash cans are clean in this city. I don't know. What's that? Guess I figured out where last night's killing took place. Oh, yeah. Music. Okay. Lots of stuff to click on here. I wonder who the victim was this time. I don't think they'd know much about it. No. I don't think they'd know much about it. I'll bet she does. Looks like a television news crew. Oh, okay. What about this dude? Isn't that the detective from the paper? Commissar Lieber? How about you? I don't think they'd know much about it. Hmm. I could go get a nice uniform. So that's it? There's nothing to, nothing to do here. What am I missing? Looks like a tell. All right. Yeah, there's nothing else that I can see. Can I go this way? No. Guess I gotta get out. All right. It's a car. Car. Oh, is that gonna take me back? Yeah. Okay. All right. This part's fun. This is the fun. That, this is the part that I enjoy because I actually am playing the game, and so it's a little. It's a. Who's this person? That's me, Gabriel Knight. <laughs> no, it was him. <laughs> I thought we were over here. What's this thing? Even their trash cans are clean in this city. All right, let's go this way. Uh, all right, I guess we're going into the hunt club. Do I have anything to give him? Is he going to be nice to me now that he knows I'm a, I'm a member? Good morning, Herr Knight. I'm afraid there's no one here at the moment. They're all busy with their daily tasks. They you all... are, however, welcome to use the club. So I think. <laughs> He's not happy about it. Xavier, you're so kind. She, he notices snark when he gets it, unlike Gerda or Gerda. He doesn't. Um, they all know you're. They're, you're welcome here. They're all busy hiding from you, and they saw you come up in the. All right, uh, I want to keep talking to him. Mind if we chat for a moment? <laughs> Anything to be of service, sir. Anything to be of service. <laughs> Who starts? You, you start. Uh, okay, I'll start. So tell me about the club. What about it? That was one of the most riveting scenes. That was good. Just good. Tell me about the club. What about it? How long has the club been around? Since 1970. <laughs> no way. <laughs> the old Royal Bavarian Hunting Lodge? It's old than that, isn't it? The Königke Bayerische Hofjagdloge is ancient. This particular form of it is new. What happened in 1970? Baron von Glauer came. He brought a new vision. The lodge had nearly died out. Hunting is not so popular as it used to be. Were you here when von Glauer joined? Baron von Glauer. He hired me later, in 72. How many members are there? There are five now. Not including you. I'm not sure of your status. Fine. You mean the men that were here last night make up the entire club? Quantity is not an overriding concern with us, Herr Knight. The Baron personally interviewed and approved each new member. Despite your own experience, this club is extremely exclusive. Not everyone would fit in. No, I don't suppose they would. Oh, am I still on? I was going to turn off my... Yeah, you guys can hear the... <laughs> I tried to mute. <laughs> I accidentally unmuted. So yeah, you can hear all the renovations going on at the Hunt Club. Um, 
All right, we'll do this last one. I, th I don't know. We might just start to wrap up in a couple minutes here just because it's not getting any, any better. So let's go. How often do the club members go hunting? As a group, once a month or so. <laughs> once a month? <laughs> Hell, I thought y'all were hunters. Back home, you don't get out there and spill a little blood at least once a week. The other men start looking at you funny. <laughs> Organized club hunts are once a month. Members can use the club's lodges anytime on a more casual basis, and they frequently do. So, uh, tell me about the club members. I don't gossip about our members, Herr Knight. <laughs> gossip? <laughs> With you? Please. I've never met anyone as obviously discreet as you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you good. could drop a load if you wanted to, though. Drop a you load. You know more about what goes on around here than anyone. Oh, At least you're, gonna, I used to. you're using but reverse psychology on it. Coming in, I'm not sure I know anything anymore. All these new people. You mean I'm not the only fresh blood? No, Herr Dr. Klingman was only accepted a few weeks ago. Ooh, this is a clue. Really? Who brought him in? I was not in on the discussion, so I really couldn't say. But I'm sure there was more thought behind his acceptance than yours. Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard of the Black Wolf? No. <laughs> yes, he has. Alrighty. All right, Xavier. Thanks. Xavier, you blew your cover. All right, guys. I hate to do this, but we got almost two hours. I'll, we'll add some more time next time around, and I apologize for forgetting about our 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 work being done outside um so we'll call it a call it a day uh i do want to just comment oh i gotta save why don't i do that right now while i'm talking to you guys um what do we want to call this xavier uh hunt club oh. wait what do i do save no tristan a new game oh there we go uh hunt club there we go um Okay, excellent. Um, thanks, everybody. Uh, Gabriel is, uh, he is just a goofball. I, it's really kind of, I, actually, I'm, I'm very much warming up to, to Dean's performance of him. He's just a, you see him right away, and he's just this hunky, good-looking guy, so you expect sort of a more straightforward kind of non, maybe more wry sense of humor, but he is such a, he's such a goofball. He just, he, he cracks me up. That's not quite what I expected. And, and after chapter two with Grace, anything is an improvement <laughs> he's so happy everything kind of makes he's got a nice smile all the time he enjoys it when people are kind of teasing him yeah he and grace i'll be curious to see what they're like together that'll be fun um all right everyone thank you so much we are back at it so this is gonna as far as i know um nothing should be getting uh in the, other than other work projects that I don't know about at the moment, we'll continue to do uh, GK2 um, on Fridays now at 12 o'clock. That seems like the best time for everybody. And then we'll be back at Phantasmagoria with uh, Victoria uh, on um, Monday at 12 o'clock. And then please join us for our interview with Drunken Master Paul this Sunday at 12 o'clock. There's a new theme here. We're the 12 o'clock boys. And uh, I think that's it. Am I, am I missing anything, Daniel? Nope. nope. Sounds like you covered it all. Yeah. All right. Uh, thanks, everybody. Daniel, thank you very much. Uh, I'll be talking to thank you soon. You and uh, uh, everybody else, thank you so much for joining us today. And uh, um, I hope you enjoyed my, my, you know, my motorcycle. Thank look. you, everyone. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Take care, guys. Have a good rest of your day. Take care. Bye. Good weekend. Bye. Let me turn that on.